Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to migrate logins from SQL Server 2008 or 2008R2 to SQL Server 2014 or SQL Server 2012. In this demo, we'll be learning scripting out logins on SQL Server 2008 or SQL Server 2008R2, and I'll be using Microsoft Transfer Login Script. And uh, this script does have some limitations, and um, once we run the script, I'll be going through some limitations, and we'll have a walk through th uh, the output of that script. And uh, finally, we'll run that script on our target SQL Server, which is either SQL Server 2014 or 2012. So here's my SQL Server right here. This is my SQL Server 2008 R2. So I'm going to go ahead and basically run that Microsoft script right here. This is the script. This script creates a couple store procedures. One is right here, help underscore REV logins, and other is hex uh, the decimal right here. This is, uh, these are two store procedure gets created as a uh, result of execution of this script in master database. And finally, we run this store procedure right here to get the output and we take that output and run on our target server. So I, again, I, as I mentioned that this has some limitations and let's go ahead and run this script first and then we'll go through the limitations. So as you can see that I ran through this, uh, I ran this uh, script and it created a create login script. One good thing about this script is that you do not need to reset the password of uh, your SQL Server logins. If you have SQL Server logins here and has a password, then you do not need to reset the password on the target machine. This will take the password with it. However, if you notice right here, if you go in my logins, these are my logins. If you have a login that has sysadmin access and doesn't have access to the any database that was transferred from this SQL Server 2008 R2 to our target server, then that is not going to go with it. And I'll show you in a script uh, in a little bit. So let's go ahead and look at the cluster admin. This is my, if you look at uh, server role right here, this is sysadmin. Only thing that gets synced automatically in 2012 or 2014 when you transfer uh, these logins to the target server, that is the database permissions. So only uh, database permission and in server, as far as server roles, SQL Server server roles, that would be only the public. So let's take a look on our cluster admin user that what it, it has done right here. So let me go ahead and uh, look at the cluster admin. Right here is my cluster admin. So this is the script that's going to get get executed in our target server. So if you notice, create login, and this is the login name right here from Windows with default database master. So it is not uh, basically putting right here that uh, uh, if it has a, C a server role that is sysadmin, that's not going to go with it. So it's just going to go ahead and create a login for you. So any uh, login that you have in your source and it has uh, uh, server roles, you need to basically uh, manually do those roles from source to uh, destination. So that's what I wanted to make sure that you understand uh, with the output of this script. So let's go ahead and um, copy this script and go to our SQL Server 2014. I'm going to go ahead and log in with my SQL Server 2014. This is my SQL Server 2012. We'll run on that too. And this is my SQL Server 2014. Basically, mostly logins I already have. If it has already the logins, it's going to give us error. So let's go ahead and run this script. As you can see that um, most of the, my logins are already existed, but if there isn't any login that it, uh, didn't exist here, let's go ahead and refresh this. As you can see that uh, the login list up here has more logins than it was. Uh, G. Bailey and K. Scott wasn't here. Now it, they are here in this um, after running this script, but there are other logins that already existed. It did not replace those logins. So basically, this is how you transfer logins from SQL Server 
2008 R2 or 2008 to 2014 uh, 